Um, so all of these, if I were to put, you know, a plane through a particular way, I would get a different conic section for my cross section. Um, so circles, parabolas, ellipses, and hyperbolas are the names of them. That's what they look like. So when we're finding the equations, we're finding the equations of those sections there um, or the shape that creates that section. Um, today we start with parabolas, okay? Um, parabolas you've seen before, you've worked with before, so you know a lot of things about them. So this shouldn't be the most difficult section for you because you are familiar with parabolas, right? We know parabolas. So we're going to jump in and talk about what that is going to look like for us. Um, stop me if I'm going too fast. I'm not trying to fry your brain, but I also don't want this to take longer than it needs to and you not have any time to try it. So um, first thing you need to know is what is a parabola? which you know, but maybe you don't know like the definition of it. It is the set of all points, the same distance from a fixed point, which we call the focus, and a fixed line, which we call the directrix. Okay, so you're going to have a focus and a directrix. Um, a parabola, if you look at that picture right below, the parabola is the red, right? The focus is this little dot, the directrix is this blue line, okay? So what we're saying is that red line, that parabola is the same distance away from the orange dot and the blue line no matter where you go. You can kind of see that in the blue. If I put a point right here, this distance is gonna be the same as this distance, okay? If I put a point right here, this distance is the same as that distance. So the focus and the directrix are the same distance away from our parabola, okay? Um, a focus is always inside the parabola. So it's like if you treat it like a smiley face, it's where your teeth would be, right? That's the focus. The directrix is always gonna be outside and it will never touch the parabola. Um, with that, one last thing is you will have an axis of symmetry um, and we've talked axis of symmetry before, so that shouldn't be a new one to you, right? Your axis of symmetry on this one would be here. Um, it's always going to go through the vertex of your parabola, so this point right here. It's always going to go through the focus, and it will always be perpendicular to the directrix, okay? 90 degree angle with your blue line there. Any questions on that stuff so far? Yes. The focus is the dot, the directrix is the line. Okay. Yeah. Okay, um, so the first thing we're gonna talk about are the easy ones, where the vertex, vertex is at the origin, okay? And then we'll get into some where your vertex moves. Um, but you guys have done that before, so it shouldn't be terrible. So first of all, the equation for, um, the first equation that we're gonna talk about, this should look fairly familiar, is y equals a times x squared. Okay. Um, do you remember what this number in a parabola does? A little louder? Oh, how wide or narrow? Yes. Yeah. So that's going to determine how wide or narrow. It also determines what direction we open. So if it's positive, what way does this go? Up. It's going to open up if your a value is greater than zero, okay? So if it's positive, right, um, your parabola is gonna open up. If it's negative, it's gonna open down, which is what I gave you in picture form there as well. Okay, um, the focus of your parabola, so remember focus is gonna be a point somewhere inside of your parabola. That focus is always gonna be the point zero C and I will tell you about C in just a minute, um, where C is always going to be the distance from your vertex to your parabola. So if you look back up at this picture, right, this distance right here from the vertex to the parabola, okay, that's always going to be your C value. Um, so from the vertex to the parabola. Your directrix will always be 
in this case, where it's y equals ax squared, okay, where it's this equation, your directrix will always be the line y equals the opposite of c. So whatever the distance was to the focus, it's the same distance to the directrix. So it's going to be the opposite, right? If this was um, c units here, this needs to be c units here. So y equals the opposite of whatever our c was. Um, um, this, by the way, doesn't make perfect sense because the vertex would be here, right? If we're doing the equation we're talking about. I should have put one of those on there, but I didn't. That's okay. Um, any questions on that so far? Okay. Same goes when we flip things up a little bit. The other equation is x equals a times y squared. So your x's and y's just switched on this one. x equals a y squared. If your a is positive, it's going to open to the right. If your a is negative, it's going to open to the left. Okay, and now your focus just flip-flops, right? Just like your X and Y flip-flopped, your focus flip-flops. So instead of zero C, now your focus is C zero, okay? And C is still gonna be the distance from the vertex to the focus. Um, your directrix for this one, because you're opening left or right, now it has to be a vertical line, which will be X equals the opposite of your C value, okay? And then this, this is the most important formula in this whole thing because you will use it every single time, okay? Um, your A value, right? Remember the A value is the one here and here, okay? That A value will always equal one divided by four times C, okay? One over four C is always gonna be your A value. Super important equation. You're going to use it a ton. Let me show you how. Question so far? Okay, so here's what we do. Um, this is where yours might look a little different. I moved this over so I could zoom in more, but I didn't change it on mine yet. So um, you have this equation y equals negative 1 16th x squared. Okay, so the first thing I want you to just ask yourself on these problems is where is my vertex going to be? And if you recall, vertex form was the one that had x minus h squared plus k, right? If there's nothing, sorry, nothing going on back here, it's just that ax squared format, your vertex is always where? Zero, zero. Okay, so, so far all we've talked about is the things that have a vertex at zero, zero. So when it looks like this with nothing else but the A value in there, your vertex is going to be zero, zero. Okay. Um, tell me what you know about this parabola, just looking at it. Anything? Do you recognize anything about it right now? It opens down. It opens down. Okay, so that's a good thing to just note. This is gonna open down because it's negative, right? So our A value being negative means it's gonna open down. Um, okay, so if we're trying to figure out my focus, what the focus is, remember the formula, A equals one over four times C. Do you know what A or what C is? Think of your equation, right? We're doing this equation right now. A is negative 1 16th, right? This right here, that's your A value. Okay, so I know that negative 1 16th is equal to 1 over 4C. Um, at that point, you could cross multiply it, or some of you maybe can just do the math in your head. Um, if you put that negative with the bottom, 4 times what would give you a negative 16. If you're not comfortable with that, just cross multiply. Negative 4C equals 16, and then divide by negative 4. So C is negative 4. Okay, super important that you find your C on these. So that means my focus 
Remember the focus is always at zero C in this format. So my focus is zero, negative four. Okay. Then remember your directrix is always y equals a negative c value. So your directrix is a line, okay? Don't ever just give me a number there. You need to give me a line there. So it's gonna be y equals what value? Four. If negative c is what we're looking for and my c value is negative four, we're saying the opposite of negative four is a positive four. Okay, so that's how you find all the pieces. Now you graph it for me. So here's where yours might be a little closer and easier to read. Um, your vertex is going to be zero, zero. So go ahead and plot that point. Okay. Um, your focus is zero, negative four. One, two, three, four. Okay, that's your focus. Um, you don't need to put an F by it. I'm just putting an F for your sake so you know which one is which. This one's your vertex. The uh, pink dot is your focus. The directrix is y equals four. What kind of line is a y equals some number? Horizontal, right? Y equals a number is horizontal. So y equals four, one, two, three, four, is this line right here. Okay, so that's our directrix if you will. Um, and then from there, I don't need you to do any stretching or expanding of how big or small your parabola is. I'm not going to be picky about that right now. Um, all I want to see is what direction does your parabola open. So it's not going to be true to scale. I mean, if you want to make it true to scale, you're welcome to mess with it a little bit, but I'm not going to expect that. You're just going to freehand a, a parabola for me. Okay, it's going to open so that it wraps around the focus from your vertex. It will never go through the directrix. Okay, questions on that? Can I move on? Okay, so the second one here, um, where is your vertex going to be? Zero, zero. We have no plus H, plus K, any of that. So the vertex is zero, zero. How do you find the focus? First of all, okay, what direction is this going to open? It's going to open up because of the positive one eighth and because of the fact that we have y equals that, right? If it was x equals, it would open to the left or to the right. This is going to open up. Um, remember your fancy formula, a equals 1 over 4c. So what is my a value? 1 eighth equals one over four times C, okay? Now you can really see it. Um, one over eight has to equal one over eight. So C is what? Two, right? C is gonna be two. Um, again, if you wanna cross multiply that, eight equals four C and divide by four, C is two. Okay, so our focus, remember the focus is always at zero C in this format. So what's your focus? Zero, two, okay. What's your directrix then? Is it y equals or x equals? Y equals, it's gotta be a line, don't forget the y, okay. Y equals negative two, the opposite. And now you plot it. So vertex at zero, zero, focus at zero, two, Directrix at y equals negative 2. So go down 2 and a horizontal line. We said it opens up. So it's going to look like that. Good morning, Meg. Thank you. Um, oh, there's a couple here. Miles and Ashley. You can come grab those if you want. Um, questions on that? The V? Oh, the, the, yes, always from the vertex. Of, you draw your parabola from your vertex. The, ver, the parabola will never go through the focus or directrix, only the vertex. And it should be two points, 
uh, zero, zero is your vertex. That's this one. Zero, two is your focus, which is right there. Okay. Yeah, Kate. Will the vertex always be zero, zero? On these ones, it's always zero, zero. When we get to, I'll show you. Oh, you know what, though? Do we not do any of those today? Oh, we do those later. No, it's there. Oh, here. When we get to a different vertex, the equation's going to look totally different. Um, so I'll show you that in a minute, but yeah. Um, okay, take a look at letter C here. What changed? X equals, okay? So pay attention to that. This is X equals. Um, so remember, with X equals, it's either going this way or it's going this way now. Which one is it going to be? It's going to open to the right because it's positive. Okay, so this positive one fourth means it's going to open right. Your vertex is still at zero, zero, because we didn't add or subtract any of the X or H and K stuff. Um, so your focus, your A value is one fourth, and we know A equals one over four C. So we're going to say one over four equals one over four C. What is C? It's one, right? One over four equals one over four. Um, again, you can cross multiply that if it makes you feel better. But if you can just see that one over four has to equal one over four, so C has to be one, that's fine too. So my focus, now here's where it switches up a bit. Remember, your focus now is C zero instead of zero C. When, when, when it turns the parabola, it switches your C, okay? Um, so your focus is gonna be at one zero. So what's your directrix going to be at? Do you remember what changes with the directrix too? X equals. Now it's going to be a vertical line. X equals what? Negative 1. The opposite of your C value. So negative 1. Okay, now we graph it. Vertex at 0, 0. Focus at 1, 0. Directrix at X equals negative 1. So that's a vertical line. Um, that directrix should really help you graph it. You will never draw a line. Your parabola will never go through your directrix. So you should be able to see right now that this has to open to the right. Okay. Okay. You try D. Figure out what is your vertex, what is your focus, what is your directrix. From all of that. Yeah. Very soon. What's your vertex? Zero, zero. Can you tell me what direction this opens? It's going to open to the left. Okay, for two reasons, right? X equals is left or right. And then the negative opens toward the negative numbers, okay? Negative opens left, positive opens right. So this is going to open left. Um, did you find a focus? Negative what? Four? No. Oh, who was saying something? Oh, no. <laughs> What'd you say? Negative one, zero? Not negative one. 
negative one fourth zero. Okay, so here it is. Um, we know a equals one over four times c. What is your a value right now? Negative one equals one over four c. Okay, so if you treat that like a fraction and cross multiply it, you get negative four c equals one, right? Divide by negative four. So C is a negative one fourth. Okay, so when we write our focus, now it's C zero because we're opening left and right. So it's negative one fourth zero. So what's your directrix? Is it X equals or Y equals? X equals. When it's X equals here, it's X equals here. Okay, X equals what? A positive one fourth. You guys are naturals. Okay, so if we plot all of this, um, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit because it's one fourth. <laughs> um, so your vertex was at zero, zero. Your focus is at negative one fourth, zero. So super close there, which is kind of annoying. Um, directrix is at x equals one fourth. So that's going to be here. And we said it opens what direction? Left. To the left. So it's going to look something like this. And again, I'm not going to be picky about how wide or narrow, um, just a basic curve so I can see you know it's a parabola is all I need. Questions on that? It's not terrible, right? We got this. Okay. Um, next thing. Now they're going to give you that information and you're gonna come up with the equation, okay? Um, so if you look here, it says you have a vertex at zero, zero, and a focus at zero, five. And it, in my brain, it helps to sketch it. Now, if you don't need to sketch it, that's fine. If they don't tell you to graph it, you don't need to graph it. I like to graph it. I'm gonna graph it. Um, so I know I have a vertex at zero, zero. I have a focus at zero, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, that means my parabola should look something like this. When you graph it like that, you see, oh, my parabola is opening up. So is that a y equals or an x equals equation? y equals. So that's the first thing we know. We know y equals something times x squared. We got to figure out what that something is. Um, how do I find this value? Remember the equation? A equals one over four C. This is your A value, right? So we're trying to find A. Do you know C? What is it? It's five. C is the distance from the vertex to the focus. That distance is five units, okay? That's your C value. So if C is five, then this is going to be A equals one over four times five. So A is 1 20th, okay? That's gonna go here, one over 20, and you're done. Y equals one over 20 times X squared. It's not terrible, right? good. It's good stuff. Um, okay, letter B. Can I move on from that? Yes. Um, so this one, your vertex is at zero, zero, and your directrix is x equals two. What kind of line is x equals two? Vertical, right? So a vertical line at two Looks like this, which means my parabola is going where? Left, right? Your parabola is going to go like this. Um, okay, so here's a question. They didn't give us a focus. Do you know where the focus is? Where is it? Negative two. If this is two units to the right, your focus is going to be that same distance to the left, right? There's your focus, okay? Okay, so now here's the deal. 
you are looking for the equation of that parabola, what is it going to start as? X equals. So it's going to be X equals something times Y squared. Um, I'm trying to find that A value. I know A equals 1 over 4 times C. Do you know your C value? It's negative 2. Good job. That was a great poll, you guys. Um, negative 2 because it's from the vertex to the focus. We had to go 2 to the left, so it's a negative 2. Okay? We weren't given this. We were given this. So if you know this, it's the opposite of that. All right? Um, so we're saying 1 over 4 times negative 2 is your A value. So A is a negative 1 eighth. Okay, that's what's going to drop in here. So x equals a negative 1 eighth times y squared. Good? Okay. Um, do you want to take a little break before we move on to the fancier? I think it's a good idea, yeah? Um, like a two-minute break or a 10-minute break? Raise your hand if you want a two-minute break. It's so much harder, there's just more pieces to it um, because now your center isn't going to be at zero, zero anymore. So you really have to stop and think about what makes sense, where did we move, what's going on, okay? Um, so two new equations for you. You've seen these equations before. They're not really new, um, but we're going to use them in this concept context now. So your equation, first equation, is going to be this. y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. Okay, this means your vertex is at the point h, k. Remember doing this when we talked parabolas a few chapters back? Okay, you've seen this equation before. This is not new. Um, your graphs now are not going to be starting from zero, zero. So you might have something like this, for instance, okay, this parabola. This is your vertex. This is your HK. Um, and then your focus will be in here somewhere. Um, or maybe it opens the other way. Maybe you have a parabola that looks like this, okay, then your focus is going to be here. This is your vertex, and your vertex is going to be at HK. Your um, C value now is not any different, except that you're not starting from zero anymore. So you can't just call whatever the point F is. You can't just call that your C value um, because it's not necessarily. If your vertex has moved, your C value is in relationship to your vertex. It's how far is it from the vertex to the focus, okay? So you have to find that distance um, in setting this up. So this would be your C value as well. Okay, so that's the first equation. That's the one you're used to. Um, the other equation, you can maybe guess, it's gonna swap your um, X and Y, but it also swaps your H and your K. Um, so let me show you what that looks like. That's gonna be here. So this is gonna be x equals your a value. And now instead of x minus h, it's gonna be y minus k squared plus your h value. So you see where it gets a little hairy, right? We got a lot of letters moving around, switching places. Um, can get a little bit tricky, so just make sure you're paying attention to all the details. That means your parabola could potentially open ooh, something like that, where this is your center. So that's still your HK. Um, or maybe it opens this way, where this is your, not center, vertex at HK. Um, your focus is still going to be inside of there. Okay, so here's your focus. And now your C value is here. Okay, from the vertex to the focus is still your C value. It's just not going to be whatever your 
x value of your focus is anymore. It's going to be the distance between h and f. Okay, um, and then just remember, we're still using a equals 1 over 4c a lot, okay? Done drawing, writing formulas, ready to move on? Okay, so here's what you're going to do. <coughs> we're going to come up with the equation of a parabola given a directrix and a vertex for this first one. So again, you don't have to sketch it. I don't know why you wouldn't. It makes it so much simpler in my brain anyway, but maybe your brain doesn't need it. Um, if it says to sketch it, make sure you sketch it, okay? So if the directrix is y equals four, what kind of line is that? That's horizontal. Okay, so a horizontal line at four is going to be one, two, three, four. Okay, so this is your directrix. You don't need to label it with a D, that's just me telling you. Um, then it says you have a vertex at two, three. So plot the point two, three. One, two, one, two, three is your vertex. Um, you should be able to tell me a couple things right now. You should be able to tell me how this opens. Where is this going to open? It's going to open down because we don't want to go through our directrix at all. Okay, so I know my parabola is going to open down. You should also be able to tell me um, where your focus will be. Do you know where the focus should be? It's going to be at 2, 2, right? If this distance right here is 1, then this distance right here has to be 1 also. So this is where your focus would lie, okay? Um, so that's a positive 1. This from the vertex is a negative 1. That's your C value, right? Your C is negative 1 because from the vertex we went down 1 to get to the focus, right? C value is always the distance from vertex to focus, not vertex to directrix. Yeah. A 15. This is negative 1, and this is 1. This is just a little squiggly to show um, what chunk of space I'm doing. Is that what you're asking? This point is your focus, right? So if the directrix was one above your vertex, then the focus has to be one below your vertex. That distance has to be the same. Distance to the directrix has to be the same as the distance to the focus. Okay, so here's your picture. We know now C is negative one. Um, we need to find, if we're gonna write the equation, we need to find an A value, the H value, and the K value, right? Because we're plugging it into, well, stop there. This is opening down. Are you using your formula on the left or the right? Your equation? The left. So you're plugging into this right now. Okay, that means y equals a times x minus h squared plus k. So you need to find a, h, and k. Do you know any of those right now? What does h and k represent? two and three, it's the vertex, right? This is your H and this is your K. So we have that already. Y equals, we'll leave a blank for A, X minus two squared plus three. Okay, so I know that's the format of it. I just need to figure out what A is. What's my A equation? A equals what? One over four times C. Do you know C? 
that was the negative one, right? So we're gonna drop this C in right here. So A equals one over four times negative one. So A is a negative one fourth. That goes here, negative one fourth, and you're done. Questions on that? Yeah, Isaac. So how do we get C? Um, so because they gave you, they started you with this line and this point, right? And the rule is the distance to the directrix is the same as the distance to the focus. So if this is a distance of one, then this negative one has to be our C because we had to go from the vertex to the focus is our C value. So from vertex to focus, we had to drop down one. So that's a negative one. So it's always going to be, maybe you want to just make a note of that. C is always the distance. This is in your notes earlier, but maybe just to remind yourself um, from the vertex to the focus. Okay, C is always the distance from the vertex to the focus. So if I'm at the vertex, we always start at the vertex. If I have to drop it down, that's going to be a negative one. Right? Or if you have to go left, it would be a negative whatever number of units. Questions on that? Okay, um, I think I'm going to have you try B on your own. You have your fo focus. You have your vertex. Plot that. Think about which equation are you doing. Is it going to be a y equals or an x equals? See if you can find your c, find your h, find your k. Try to plug it all into that equation. Try that. Um, left or right, sorry. Okay, so this one, if you plot your focus, negative 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Okay, that's your focus. Your vertex is at negative one, one, two, three, vertex. Um, you don't need the directrix here, but if you wanted to, the directri directrix would be here, just to help you realize, oh yeah, this opens this way, okay? Um, so when you realize it opens left, your equation should start like this, right? X equals is opening left and right. Um, so A times y now normally just keep this straight right this is hk this one is kh you got to flip your vertex points so y minus k squared plus your h value um what is h negative one right h is negative one k is the three because this is your vertex okay so I know x equals we'll leave a space there x and y should never be numbers they should always be x and y so don't plug anything in for x or y it's going to be y minus your k value so y minus three squared um, plus a negative one so really it's minus one I don't remember who I told you were good but I forgot you hadn't flipped your stuff um, okay, so this is your setup. We need A. We need this value. So you're always looking for A, H, and K in these problems, right? We have our H and K. So all we have to solve for is our A. And A equals 1 over 4 times C. What is your C value? Negative 2. It's the distance from your vertex to your focus. Okay, so C is a negative two, that's this distance. That means A is one over four times negative two. So A is a negative one eighth. So that's gonna go here and that is your equation then. Okay, so always make sure you're starting with the right thing, X or Y equals, right? If it's opening left and right, X equals. If it's opening up and down, y equals, okay? Um, and then make sure you flip your h and k if it's an x equals setup. Um, 
Um, so the only thing we were given here to start Right? We weren't given any of that. We were given a vertex at negative 1, 3, and a focus at negative 3, 3. So this is the focus. This is the vertex. From the vertex, you have to wrap around the focus. So my parabola has to go like this to wrap around the focus. The focus should always be inside of your parabola. So that's how you determine which way it opens. Any other questions? Okay, one more, and I want you to try it on your own again. I want you to see if you can figure it out, because I know these are tough, a bit of a challenge. Um, give it a go, and then I will talk you through it in just a couple minutes. But, um, your directrix, y equals negative two, so that's a horizontal line. Some of you flipped that and made it vertical. That will change the whole problem, right? If you put the line the wrong way. So just take your time when you're looking at these. This is horizontal. Um, so y equals negative 2 is right here. And then your vertex is at 4, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3. Okay. Um, that means this distance, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, has to be the same distance to your focus. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that would be your focus, um, which means your C value is a positive five because we went from vertex to focus, we went up five, okay? Um, what way is this opening? It's gonna open up, right? It's gonna go this way. Um, so opening up means it's y equals. So y equals a times x minus h squared plus k is your equation. Um, do you have h? What is it? h is 4. k is 3. Okay. So it's going to be y equals something times x minus 4 squared plus your k value, so plus the 3. We just have to figure out what is a. What's the equation for a? 1 over 4c. Okay, and my c value is what? 5. So a is 1 over 4 times 5, or 1 20th. Okay, so that value is going to drop in here. 1 over 20, and that is your answer. Um, don't forget your squared. A lot of times that little 2 gets left off. That would be a very different equation. Um, so make sure you leave your little squared in there, and that would be your answer. Questions on that?